We're going to celebrate Earth Day today on the show. In fact, we want to share some delicious plant-based meals with our viewers. And to help us do so, of course, is our food and lifestyle influencer, Shanesty Ireland. Good to see you again, Shanesty. Hi, Mona. Thank you for having me. I know you guys mentioned it. The weather here in Columbus, I'm sure it's the same in Cincinnati. It's gorgeous. And I think that celebrating Earth Day when you have weather like today, when the sun's shining and it's warm, it just makes it all the better, right? That's right. Absolutely. All right. So share some fun facts about Earth Day for us. Great. So Earth Day has been around since 1970. That's when it was originated here in the United States. And it was really just a way for everyone to kind of take into consideration planet Earth. It started here in the U.S., but in the 90s, it kind of became a global sensation where we now have countries from Europe, China, Afghanistan, all around the world taking part in an Earth Day celebration. And the reason why it's April 22nd is there was a movement in Wisconsin. The governor there decided to make April 22nd the day because it's in between spring break and final exams because they wanted to get the college kids involved in Earth Day. Well, that's so great. I knew, didn't know any of that. So thank you for sharing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell us some practical ways that we can celebrate Earth Day. Great. So there are some very practical ways to do so, starting with recycling. I think that's what our minds always go to when we think about reducing our carbon footprint. That's something really simple we can do. Another thing we can do is we can bike, we can walk, we can ride share if we're commuting to work. Also, using re reusable bags at the grocery store as opposed to plastic bags. This is a great way. I know during COVID, we had to do away with these sometimes, but now they're back in the grocery stores. It's great to use those recycled, re reusable bags. Also, just using an actual canteen for your water. I know you mentioned plastic water bottles, Mona. Getting rid of those, just using a, a hydro flask or something that you can just refill your water with. Using um, plant-based foods, we can use plant-based milks. These are all over the grocery store, almond milk, coconut milk, uh, oat milk. You can use that in, as opposed to um, any kind of cow milk. And then I have some products I want to talk to you about that also are really environmental friendly. All right. All right. So tell us about Yaya's Garden and Olive Skin Care. Yes. So Yaya's Garden is actually made in Greece. These are 100% Greek ingredients. You can find this product in your frozen food section there in Cincinnati. And uh, this is a plant-based brand where it's a really great idea if you're thinking about maybe going meatless one day a week or maybe just cutting back on a little bit of the meat in your diet, it's always easy to go to the frozen food section to grab those, stock up your freezer so you've got them there and ready to go. 100% natural, no additives or preservatives. And then Olive is a skincare brand that I absolutely love. They're based out of New Zealand. They've been in business for 20 years. Um, they also are great for natural ingredients, non-GMO, 100% natural, and they use eco-friendly packaging as well. So these are two brands that you can support as long as well as other brands out there to, that are really environmentally friendly and help cut down on your carbon footprint. All right. Those are great tips. All right. So where can we learn more about Yaya's Garden and Olive Skin Care? Great. Just head over to their website, yayasgarden.com olliveskincare.com and if you want more tips from me you can hop on my Instagram at Shanice Ireland or my blog she's becoming domestic.com all right Shanice you are the woman with all the great tips thanks for talking to us today happy Earth Day Mona have a great weekend thank you you too